Yo, what is up guys? It's Kobe, here today with another installment of my How to Get Diamond Camels Fast series. If you missed my first two, definitely go check those out. I went over the assault rifles and the submachine guns, but in today's video, we're going to be looking at the shotguns, and I may have said this in you know a previous video, but I actually really like the shotguns in this game because each one is just so different from the next. Now, there are obviously a couple shotguns that are you know, kind of obviously better and more powerful, but regardless, they are pretty fun to use, so, you know, why not get them diamond? And that's what this video is about, just getting some small tips that will help you get the diamond camos as fast as possible. But before I get into each weapon individually, let me start by saying, in both of my last two videos, I reiterated how you should always use the highest level unlocked weapon, that way you won't ever go without having a weapon to work on and complete challenges for. However, because there is only four shotguns, you don't have to worry about that quite as much, but if you do have a permanent unlock you know, available and you really want the diamond shotguns, using the token on the M1216 wouldn't be a bad idea considering it is unlocked all the way at level 52, so that's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, starting with the R870, I can honestly say you will not have a problem with this weapon. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have already used this weapon and know how powerful it is. Each shot has a damage potential of 400 points, which is absolutely insane. At close ranges, only 2 out of the 8 pellets need to hit for you to get the one shot kill, which if you don't know already is really important because with both the shotties and the snipers, the first several challenges are getting one shot kills, not headshots. So the more one shot kills you get, the faster you can complete those first challenges. With almost all the shotguns, I suggest using the long barrel and laser sight as the attachments, especially for those one shot kills. With the long barrel, your max damage range increases, and the laser sight will help you a lot in those close quarter battles, which is where you'll find yourself most of the time. Moving on to the S12, which is the semi-automatic shotgun. This one is definitely not my favorite by any means, but it's not my least favorite either. The shotgun is pretty good, but when you're going for specific camo challenges, which is what this video is about, the weapon can sometimes annoy me, but regardless, I find long barrel and laser sight the best two attachments for this weapon as well. Getting one shot kills with this weapon isn't too bad, but one suggestion would be actually to aim down the sights. A lot of people just try to hip fire just because it's a shotgun, it shoots 8 pellets and that's just what we're accustomed to, but unless you're really really close to your opponent, aiming in will help you get way more one shot kills, especially once you hit that medium range area. However, once you finish the one shot kill challenge, just spray like a madman, really take advantage of its semi-auto abilities, because when you're not having to get one shot kills, it's actually a pretty good weapon. Now the KSG. This is definitely Definitely my favorite shotgun. A lot of people like to call it overpowered, but the fact is you get one shot, and if you miss that shot, you're probably going to get killed unless your opponents just are terrible, but the accuracy on this thing is ridiculous. If you aim at a wall and keep shooting, each slug will hit the exact same spot. So when using it in the game, if you have a good shot, you can do very, very well with it. Now for attachments, this is the one shotgun that I like to use. Three, the long barrel and laser sight of course, and the red dot. Now the red dot is completely personal preference. If you like the iron sights, use them, you know, you get two extra points to put towards something else, but me personally, I don't like them, so I use the red dot. With long barrel on this thing, your one shot kill range is incredible. It feels like a medium range encounters are one shot kills as well, and that helps you a ton. Not being limited to close range fights like a normal shotgun, you're a lot freer to move around the map, you know, wherever you please. As for laser sight on this thing, I shot at a wall, and the slug goes directly down the center of your crosshairs, which is also crazy, but there are two things that you should not do while using this gun. The first one is change position while or even right before you shoot, whether that's drop shotting or even a lot of people tend to crouch right when they shoot, but for some reason it makes your slug go in some random direction and you're left wondering why it didn't hit. And two, avoid pop shotting. And what that is is not quite aiming down, but not hip firing either. It's while you're in the animation of aiming in and you shoot. A lot of people do that with snipers I see, but don't do it with this gun. For some reason, again, your slug goes in a random direction and that can get very annoying. So basically be either aiming in all the way or just hip fire and you should be fine. And last and certainly least is the M1216, my least favorite shotgun out of them all. It may just be me, but I really, really hate this gun. And that may stem from it taking the longest frame to get one shot kills with, but still, I think I'd hate it regardless. For this gun, I would recommend the long barrel and laser sight as the attachments as well. Long barrel helps a little, but you still have to be really, really close to your enemy to get those one shot kills, and that can get incredibly annoying. One big tip that I have for you though is fire all four shells in the chamber for every kill. If you guys don't know already, the shotgun is fully automatic, however you have to rotate chambers every four shells. And that time, you know, while you're rotating chambers can get you killed a lot if you aren't paying attention. That's why I say use all four shots for every kill, so you're never left with only one or two shots left, and then you have to rotate chambers in the middle of a gunfight. Another mistake I see made when you're going for one shot kills is people only shooting one shell at a time. But you have to realize is that if that one shot doesn't kill them, you're pretty much dead. You know, might as well use all four shots, so even if the first shot doesn't kill them, the other three will too and you may get the kill. You won't get the one shot, you know, but it is better than dying. Other than that, to get one shots, you really have to rush and catch people off guard and sneak up behind them, or you have to camp doorways, which may sound really lame, but you have to get 250 one shot kills with this thing, and by the end of it, you'll probably do whatever it takes. So that's all the tips I have for you guys, so go out there and go get those damage shotguns. You know, why not? If you're getting bored of the game, 
It will give you something to do, and they look pretty cool, so I don't see why you shouldn't. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and want to support it, support the channel. All ratings are appreciated. If you have the diamond camels or even close to them, let me know down below, as well as any other tips you might want to share with anyone else. Not too many people had the assault rifles or SMGs in those last two videos, so you know, you'd definitely be in a small percentage if you do have them. But regardless, thank you for watching the video, last two videos on screen if you missed them, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.